welcome to Vista LA. I'm Giovanna Lotta. We join you today from the Museum of Latin American Art in Long Beach, a museum dedicated to the beauty of Latin culture. We begin with the wedding of a lifetime. And coming up, Latin elegance hits the runway with some of today's hottest designers. Welcome back to Vista LA. Now, the Museum of Latin American Art presents a night of Latin elegance, a runway show with today's hottest designers. The Museum of Latin American Art in Long Beach presented their Latin Elegance Fashion Show. It's a gala event where art meets fashion to raise money for the museum and Couture's finest designers show off their latest collections. Designers Louis Verdad, Cantu and Castillo, and Susana Mercedes all share a passion for art and culture. I am Latin. I'm incredibly proud of it. Um, it's my heritage. It's my life. It's my work. It's my blood. You know, uh, my passion is what I think and I do. So they come together very close. Uh, the fact that I like the women the way I dress them or the way I see them is because this is what I grew up with. You know, it's part of who I am. The style and the Latin heritage, yes. It is truly inseparable because one influences the other, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Fashion is art. Like an artist, you, 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 you go through a journey. So you want to start off with whatever excites you first, and then you want to go back to your roots. Latin women are not thin normally. They have curves, they have bosoms, you know. I, I think that women can be extremely sexy without being too revealing. And that's exactly what I do. The sensuality on my clothes is following the curves of the body in a way that you still can see them without having to show them. Cantu and Castillo's spring 2004 collection has a feminine romantic flair. You want to see Italian silks from Gamacetta out of Italy, uh, Como region of Italy, northern Italian. Silk charmeuse, some hand-painted vintage chiffon that is just brilliant, beautifully done in the 60s. and archive and pulled out for this collection. I'm from, originally from Venezuela. You look at the colors that are on the feathers of a macaw. That's the type of colors that we use. It's a polished look. Louis Verdad is one of today's most sought after designers to emerge in the fashion arena. Hollywood's elite, such as Jennifer Lopez, Maria Bello, Kate Blanchett, and yes, the diva Madonna wear his clothes. Such a fashion icon like Madonna, how could it get better than that? Although his career skyrocketed in less than a year, Louis Verdad's been designing for more than 15 years. His style is classy and sophisticated. Louis' couture inspirations are the women from his homeland Mexico and film icons of the 40s and 50s. I remember seeing my mother very glamorous in the pictures, you know, just growing up and going through pictures where she was a bridesmaid on the 40s and 50s. Now Marlena Dietrich is one of the divas inspirational on which a lot of the collections for now is inspired by Dolores del Rio. I would have loved to have dressed her, you know. Dolores del Rio is an icon, a Mexican icon. Louis was raised in Guanajuato, Mexico. This is where his love for vintage glamour began. I'm very proud of being Latino. I grew up with 10 people in my family. Girls that were totally glamorized before they went out of the house. They always had their lipstick on, their shoes were impeccable, their hair was good. It was all about looking all together. When you grow with family like that, you learn how to be very, very, very um, detail-oriented. You kind of um, start developing because of the status, being able to know, you know, good clothes, being able to know what fits good, what looks good, you know, what works for you and what doesn't. Louis isn't just enjoying his popularity ride, he's determined to maintain his fashion legacy. I work hard. I'm a go-getter. I'm not the kind of people that wait for things to happen. I make a lot of things happen in my life. If you have the tools to do something they're putting on the table, you can either take a time and you know look at them and see what you're gonna do with them, or either you grab them and start thinking as you work what you're gonna do with them. I'm that kind of man. Her stunning good looks took her around the world as an elite model. Now she makes her mark on the runway as a designer. When 
I started modeling and I really started working close with the designers, I knew that's what I really wanted to do. They inspired me and I said, I can do this. Susana Mercedes is the owner and designer of the L.A. company bearing her name. Her clothing collection reflects her Central American roots. I came from Guatemala, came to the United States when I was 11. The first part of my life is just very, it's a very Latino environment. Even here in the United States, I, it's still very much a part of my life. I've always felt that fashion has always been in my blood. I mean, I literally grew up under a sewing machine, so I mean, I, it was already in my blood, I think even before I was born. So I cannot help but have it influence the rest of my life. Susana's creations emphasize texture and color. She searched high and low in her homeland for a supply of rich native materials. The theme of the show was Guatemalan textiles and and Italian satines. I wanted to do a mixed media, a little bit of an art form. Elegance and femininity highlight her designs along with her love of motorcycles. That outfit, I call it Latin Evo Canivo. It was inspired by, by me riding motorcycles. What I really wanted that dress to reflect was softness and, and sensuality and feminine. What inspired me with that Flamingo skirt was Latin, Latin flair. Um, anything that has to do with Latin, with dancing, with having fun, with ruffles. I want women to go out and buy my garments and be able to wear them. I don't want them to hang in their closet. I don't know where this journey is going to take me. I just want to be able to stay focused and, and keep creating. Cinderella. And it just has a romance quality to it, which is really what we're all about. From the historical Heinsbergen building on Beverly Boulevard, where they have their showroom, Cantu and Castillo never miss a stitch of detail on their designs. Now, how do you feel like in this dress? Do you feel like a 50s diva? Yes, 50s. Because that's exactly what this is supposed to look like, would be uh, some of the Latin actresses of the 40s and 50s. Yeah. Dolores Del Rio, completely retro but at the same time modern and it's their passion for style and fashion that has brought together venezuelan rodolfo castillo and los angeles based designer daniel cantu castillo takes care of the business while cantu creates couture to give a woman the perfect figure and the perfect look we're both very much people persons we're very very uh we like to make our client feel like she's a princess <laughs> or an actress as Daniel is able to do here on a recent Extreme Makeover episode. Oh my God, that is gorgeous! For Daniel, it all started with his love for art history. In fact, that was his major in college. I had illustrated some fashion illustrations for a friend of mine who was in business. She was astonished at what she saw and ended up offering me an assistant job. But as far as my pattern making skills and draping skills, learned from studio people, people who worked with Edith Head and Bill Trevia and a number of legendary names in the film industry. Gandu started designing gowns for big wedding parties and pretty soon the celebrities started lining up. You feel like a movie star? Oh yeah. Okay. I feel like a million bucks. That's it. That's the best attitude. And with a dress like this, it takes a lot of attitude. Local music video host Patricia Lopez and actress Carla Ortiz are big Cantu and Castillo fans. It's very conservative, but at the same time it's very sexy. It is a very exciting time for Los Angeles fashion right now. There are many up-and-coming Latino designers and even nods toward the Mexican-American culture, which is very prevalent in the 20th century, and uh, there's a lot of influence now. You've enjoyed today's show. With me is Daniel Cantu of Cantu and Castillo, who created this beautiful gown. Daniel, thank you so much for making me feel so special in this beautiful dress. You're welcome. It's been my pleasure. I'm Giovanna Lotta for Henry Alfaro. Thanks for watching Vista LA, and I will see you this week on Eyewitness News at 11 a.m.